Hello friends, Namaskar. In the last one or two years, you might have heard a lot that the income tax department is going into faceless assessment procedures. And not only income tax department has gone into faceless assessment procedure, rather it has also opted for faceless appellate proceeding because of the relevant amendment in the law that the appeals will also be heard in a faceless manner. And prior to this faceless manner, what was happening? That suppose there is an assessment order passed in your case and you are not satisfied with such an order, you are supposed to file an appeal before CIT appeals, which is the first appellate authority. And before CIT appeals, whenever there will be a hearing, either you yourself or your charter accountant or your tax consultant would appear on behalf of you, submit the case and accordingly thereafter CIT appeal will decide the matter. Now that one-to-one -one interaction is totally absent in the faceless procedure. And this faceless procedure, which is aimed to provide more transparency, more fastness, initially has been quite slow because of the pandemic, which was existing since last two years. And in that pandemic period, rather prior to that pandemic, whosoever has filed an appeal has been complaining since last two years that Mr. Bhatia, I have filed an appeal, but there is no hearing till date. It is not an easy thing, mind you, my dear friends, when you file an appeal and there is no hearing taking place, it gives you attention what will happen to my case ultimately. And not only that, whatsoever longer period is being taken by CIT appeals in hearing, for that period, suppose if your demand ultimately remains to be against you, then you are liable to pay the interest for that period even. That is a very critical thing. So today through this video, I am trying to share a very important communication which is recently done, recently issued to the various assessees who have filed appeal before CRT appeal in form of they receiving an email saying enablement of communication window before CRT appeal. What is this kind of message? What is the relevant attachment? How you are supposed to respond to this? These are some very important aspects which I am trying to uh, share my views on these particular points with reference to with the help of this video. So I hope this will be useful. So first of all, you might have received an email on your mail ID. Maybe whosoever's mail ID is there, maybe assessee's mail ID or the consultant's mail ID from do not reply at the rate income tax .gov .in. Do not reply wherever it comes. It means you need not to tension Take care about any kind of reply to this mail. This is just an informative mail, wherein after quoting your name or PAN, please find retire the enablement of communication window for PAN so and so, assessment year so and so. So this is a simple message through which you have been informed that there is some enablement of communication window. Now what this enablement of communication window in my opinion? My dear friend, I think that till date, in most of the cases where CIT appeal was not sending any notice for hearing, if this kind of enablement of communication window message is received by the assessee or his consultant, it means that now you should be ready that CIT appeals will be soon issuing you a notice to submit your case, to file your detailed submission in the matter so that the matter of the appeal may finally be decided. Now that attachment which is given in the mail, if you will open that in the form of a PDF, a file will be opened. Title is Government of India, Ministry of Finance, Income Tax Department, heading. Here your name and address would be appearing. Your PAN for which assessment year this communication window has been opened. The relevant DIN and letter number on which date this communication window is opened up. And this is just a two-liner thing. One, the communication window with CIT appeals, which is the first appellate authority, has been enabled. In my opinion, my dear friends, this is just an informative message, informative attachment that, okay, Mr. Bhatia, if you have an appeal for this and this year pending before CIT appeal, now that communication window is activated, it is enabled. So in near future now, whenever CIT appeal will give you a notice under section 250 for putting forward your case, for giving the complete submission in your case, Accordingly, your appellate procedure or the appeal may be decided in future. And in disclaimer, it is written, this is a system generated response. So there is nothing which is a kind of 
authority letter authority signature which is required on this communication now i would like to further share with you that okay if you want to check the status online through the income tax login that whether such kind of communication window enablement is also appearing online you may go to your login wherein you will check that it is your name your initial details etc mail id contact number would be provided there then you have to go into pending action in pending action you will find a window or an option tab e proceeding you have to uh, click here at e proceeding so that you can check whether this communication enablement is also there in your case or not now see when you move to the e proceeding there will be different things which will be appearing there different options like if there is an assessment pending there is a penalty pending or there is a appeal pending we are focused here on the appellate matter so a proceeding name like first appellate proceeding that is appeal before cit appeal may be appearing there the relevant assessment year your pan your name the financial year here you can view the notices whatever number of notices that have been issued to you in reference to your appellate matter would be appearing here you have to click at view notices to see what notices have been issued to you till day and before you go further say for an example you want to add somebody as an authorized representative maybe a tax consultant or the chartered accountant or an advocate to represent the case on behalf of you to put up the case on behalf of you you may add it here so this is one window now let's say we click that view notices once you will click at view notices in view notices for e proceeding you will find first appellate proceeding your pan your name relevant assessment year the relevant financial year notice reference id notice under section in my opinion these notices of opening up of the or enablement of communication window are not issued under a specific section ideally what happens that such kind of notice if issued is issued under section 250 by the cit appeal for hearing the case and you will find that presently the notice under section is not section 250 so meaning thereby that this notice is not a notice for hearing this notice is to set up a kind of discussion with the assessee that okay now be ready mr bhatia that we have enabled the communication window now in future maybe soon you will receive a notice from the cit appeal for hearing of the matter and you should be ready to file your submission in response to the appeal suppose if somebody is curious that okay let me submit the response in relation to enablement of communication window which is not my suggestion but suppose you want to go there or in future you receive a 250 notice there also same procedure will come you will be given an option to submit the response then you can click here at submit response moment you click here at submit response department will give you certain instructions regarding the attachments which you file or you would like to file in response to your appellate submission you need to read them just for a basic understanding like you can attach pdf excel csv files your file name should be written in what sense and other conditions would be found here let's say you move forward from there from dashboard you gone into pending action then e proceeding then view notices and there you are into submit response i am reiterating i am not saying that please file a submission in reference to communication window you can wait for cit appeal notice under section 250 but somebody is of the mind that mr bhatia i have already filed a submission yet my case is not decided suppose i want to repeatedly uh, in form of a second thing want to upload it here can i do so so there is no restriction call is yours my suggestion is not needed you will wait for section 250 notice but suppose if somebody is saying okay i am curious to upload my reply which i have already replied earlier or i have a reply ready in reference to my appeal why can't i file it here you can file it but please mind it in future if there will be a 250 notice you can either say that i have filed the submission on such and such date or i am also filing the same submission and nobody stops you from filing the same submission here that can be taken care of so this is where you can find your pan financial year assessment year enablement of communication window you want to file partial response or you want to file full response you have to choose it suppose you opted for suppose you opted for partial response 
you may write, we are in the process of preparing the detailed submission for your FM. This is an ideal reply which I have tried to insert in one case. That okay, if you have communicated to us that now communication window is enabled. We are also saying that okay, we are also in the process of preparing detailed submission for your FM. This is an ideal way of replying such kind of communication window thing. Now, suppose if somebody is replying and also wanting to attach certain document, then there is a complete list of the documents which can be attached. And even when there is not a document which is from the list, there is some other document, you can mention it and attach it. See, this is that list which I was discussing. Whatever document you feel is relevant to your appeal, which you want to submit before CRT appeal, you can click the relevant category. All these things are there before you, points are there, maybe not readable and you need not focus on them for time being. I'm simply saying that you can choose the correct category and the document, if it is of some other nature, then you can choose the category other than you have to add that attachment in form of PDF, Excel, CSV file, etc. Okay, so this is how you can and this procedure which I have discussed here would be helpful to you when you will be filing your final submission even. So that way your homework I am trying to get ensured through this video. So at the end, my dear friends, I may conclude that this message is good in terms of you knowing that now you should be ready that in near future you will be soon receiving a notice under section 250 from CIT appeal for filing detailed response to the appeal which you have filed. So you have to tie up your belt, you have to ready with your document, you have to ready with your submission so that when CIT appeal asks you in faceless manner, you are there to submit your response. So I hope this video will serve the purpose and thank you very much for listening to me. Wishing you all the best. Jai.